What happened to Shanna, Liz, Gallier and where is she now? Read more. Nebraska woman killed her love rival and then posed as her in texts and social media for four years to cover up the crime. As ex-boyfriend says he would receive more than 160 messages per day. A chilling new Netflix documentary titled Lover, Stalker, Killer will premiere on the platform on Friday, February 9th. The True Crime documentary examines a love triangle that encompasses harassment, digital deception and murder. But who exactly is Shanna, Liz, Gallier? What happened to her and where is she now? Read on below for everything you need to know about the killer and why she murdered Carrie Farver. Shanna Gallier allegedly killed Carrie Farver due to what was perceived as jealousy because the latter was dating Krupa. Aft he rejected advances from Shanna. What happened to Shanna, Liz, Gallier? Shanna, Liz, Gallier, of Omaha, Nebraska met a man named Dave Krupa in 2012 through a dating app. Although they spoke to one another online, Mr. Krupa claims he informed the mother of two that he was only interested in a casual relationship, which Gallier initially appeared to accept without a problem. Things took a turn for the worse after Krupa met Carrie Farver at his auto repair shop in Macedonia, Iowa, and asked her if she would be in a relationship with him, to which he obliged. Gallier then met Farver in the hallway of Krupa's apartment building when the former had arrived unannounced to pick up her belongings. Why did Shanna, Liz, Gallier kill Carrie Farver? Shanna, Liz, Gallier allegedly killed Carrie Farver due to what was perceived as jealousy because the latter was dating Krupa aft he rejected advances from Shanna. Ms. Farver was last seen on November 13, 2012 by Krupa when she left his apartment and went to work. A few hours later, Krupa received a text message from Carrie asking to move in together, despite the two wanting to remain casual. Having rejected Carrie's request, he received another message, which read, Fine. I hate you. I'm dating someone else. I don't want to see you anymore. Go away. No one saw Carrie again, but Krupa continued to receive texts from her years later, ranging from stalking to threats. Farver's mother Nancy Rainey said she also received dozens of messages that were seemingly from her missing daughter. By 2015, no one had seen Carrie for two and a half years and, intrigued by the case, it was taken up by Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Office investigator Ryan Avis and Sergeant Jim Doty. The investigation found that Gallier had not only murdered Farver but also kept her phone to impersonate her online. In doing so, she made an error that was key in helping the police track Gallier down, as she took a photo of what appeared to be a tied-up decomposing body on her tablet. Another photo, which helped to remove any further doubt, showed a foot with a tattoo of a Chinese symbol that matched the one Farver had on her body. It was subsequently determined that Guller stabbed Farver to death 24 hours before her disappearance. What prison is Shanna, Liz, Gallier in? On December 22, 2016 Gallier was charged with the first-degree murder of Carrie Farver and was found guilty of the crime on August 15, 2017. She is currently serving a life sentence at the Nebraska Correctional Center for Women. Digital Forensics Administrator Anthony Cava estimated that Gallier must have spent about 40 to 50 hours a week impersonating Farver.